Alright, well hello everyone and welcome back to part 7 of Let's Play Crash Nitro Kart for the PS2 where in this part we are now going to be doing the bearing world where we get the CNK tokens from there so wish me luck on this one because bearing is of course my favourite world oh, I'm kind of torn between that and the Techni world of Crash Nitro Kart I think I'd go for Techni but personally I like them all I mean, Crash, Team Ro Crash Nitro Kart does have some really fire tracks, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to click save real quick because, you know, I want to save my progress as I'm going along, so I don't accidentally end up screwing up on anything like I have been known to before, you know. Always save your work as you're going along, as I've always been taught in IT classes, you know. Because lots of people used to complete all of their work to a certain amount for Meteor George first because that's the track we always do first so so people used to write thousands of words but then unfortunately something would happen like have a power cut or the computer would crash so what happened obviously they lost all of that hard work so that is a lesson in case you've missed it in one of my previous let's play parts always save your work as you're going along I mean all you got to do is go to file save I mean it's not hard is it I mean you can do that versus risk losing everything. Just like insurance, I mean, you could take the risk and make a mistake or something go wrong and you could end up paying a big amount of money or you could just take insurance of a small fee and then just, you don't have to worry about anything if anything serious that does go wrong, so. That's a few life tips that will get you very far in life, so. Preventive measures always are the best, so regardless of all that now we're now in Meet and George, which looks really pretty with the snow, I've got to say again. And I completely messed that up altogether. What the heck? I am now in last place. That was that was totally not intended at all. That was terrible on me, so. No! Oh no. Oh crap. What? Careful. The floor that's lava is sort of like... <laughs> the floor is lava, mind the pun, but... Anyway, the like ground, the lava was sort of like a solid object. Like it was rock. That that was pretty weird. But obviously, new Crash Team Racing game is going to sort that out, so... block that. No I can't. Oh no 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 no. Right. I need to try to get on track with this because, <laughs> because I am sucking and screwing up really bad. Which is not what I want to be doing because I screw up all the time. So we're now on the final lap, which hopefully nothing should go wrong, because if something does go wrong, I've got to redo the whole race. And just like I've said in the last part, all these races do get longer, so... As we go along, as you can see, because Inferno Island only took about half a minute to complete. So this of course is Meteor George, fully complete, yes! So that's 8 CNK tokens I now have, so I've just got to find the rest of them. Of which I believe in total there are... Oh, oh my god, just let, let me count this. Uh, so it's 3 in each world... 16. So at least I'm halfway collected now, so... All I've got to do is go collect the rest of them, which... Hopefully it shouldn't be too hard. My chair is so creaky, I don't understand why that would be the case. I, <laughs> why it's so annoying. Wonderful. You see, it is a GTO Mega Pro Racing uh, office chair, which 
I quite a luxury gaming chair. I don't understand why it should be creaky. You know, for the price point I paid for it, but it weren't like that from you. But apparently, hopefully there is a way to fix it because it is really annoying. Personally, I didn't actually think it was worth the £180 I paid for it for myself, but it is quite a nice chair. You know, it's definitely very comfortable. It's quite firm, but it's got good back support. It's just the price for the quality. I mean, you wouldn't expect a chair to be so creaky if you paid that much money for it. I think they're about $200 in the US. I'm not too sure, but anyway, we're now into our next race, which is Bearing Ruins. Another great track I absolutely love. And oh no, we're back to having lag issues again, aren't we? We don't, we don't want any of that. And another thing is as well, I'd like to try to find something a bit better to record gameplay with, as in PC gameplay. I've tried OBS, but it causes too much lag for recording graphic intense emulators, such as EPSXE, uh, PCSX2. I think EPSXE works fine, but PCSX2 doesn't work very well with it because it just gets encoding overload because it does, it is quite graphic intense. So I'm using Fraps at the minute, F-R-A-P-S, which has been capturing fine, but I've just got a problem that it seems to cause a little bit of slowdown in the lagging apps. I don't know what else I could record with. And, but the file size is huge! I mean, sometimes they have to convert the files before I even edit them because it just outputs massive files. I mean, I just don't understand why it's doing that, but that's just totally insane that it's outputting such big file sizes. I mean, surely that shouldn't be the case. And I don't know what the heck just happened there, but I've just opened up my game bar. No. What? Well, you, you guys probably did not see that, but... Basically what I've just done there is I accidentally pressed the PS button on my PS4 controller because I am I am using DS4 Windows. So, so I can use my DualShock 4 with my uh, emulators and PC. So it basically makes your PS4 controller be recognised as an Xbox 360 controller, which is quite a neat feature because I mean the Xbox 360 controller does have a lot of compatibility. But for some reason I just clicked my PS button on my PS4 controller and basically what it did was it opened up the game bar so I've actually captured <laughs> a little bit of gameplay footage in Windows Game DVR which I tell we did not want to do at all I mean because obviously recording Game DVR as well causes a lot of lag speaking of recording software so I mean I've tried capturing even through Elgato using my computer's HDMI but that just causes even more lag so it's looking like, unfortunately, I am stuck with Fraps. Unless I can get OBS to work better, because, I mean, OBS gives me a headache, man, I mean. And this time around, just so I'm safe, I'm going to take the normal route, because I don't want to mess up in this part so far, so. Oh, yes, so that is that. And I don't understand why this is, but it's same for CTR as well. Basically, it plays the loose music, as if you've lost the race, even if you come first place in a cup or a CNK or CTR uh, token challenge, so. <laughs> I like the way Crash just went sliding wildly out of control, because if you do not drift them sections, basically what is going to happen there is, you totally lose control, and it actually does take you a while to get the control back which is not something that you really want to be doing, but... Wonderful! Wonderful, you won a token. Because obviously I skipped it because I drove, but... Anyway, we're now going to do another one of my favourite tracks. See what I mean? You can't get much control in the ice, it's so annoying. Like, it's just barely turning at all, as you can see. So we're now going to go into deep sea driving. Perhaps my favourite favourite track. Oh, I'd say it's Thunderstruck really, but one of my favourite tracks in CTR. Or CNK. I, oh, no. You know, I play both games so much, I keep confusing them. I mean, you probably understand, but... 
And I just found out the other day as well that Crystal Fisher did a Let's Play on this, which is really awesome. As I do watch his Let's Plays and find them very entertaining, so definitely do check Crystal Fisher out. Because he's played loads of classic games like this, and I thought I'd follow suit. I know I'm not copying by any means at all, because we all love retro games, so... Probably because we're all nerds, but... <laughs> I mean, who still plays Crash Nitro Kart, let's say? All these years later, crap. Guess who? And this game's gonna look lit in the remaster. I'll tell you what I'm most excited about seeing in the remaster of Crash uh, Team Racing. The tunnel in engine laps. Oh my gosh, that tunnel is so good. That's so much fun. I've always enjoyed taking that tunnel. That's always like being my favourite part. And I've done the full lap and barely collected any C NK tokens right there, which is pretty appalling. So hopefully we can do better on our next lap. Yes, so I've only got to get the K, which is a little bit tricky to find. But speaking of engine labs, this section sort of reminds me of it. I do I like the tunnel with the boost all around. And speaking of that, I actually saw a recreation of that track in Mario Kart Wii, which is really cool. So just type in Engine Labs Mario Kart Wii, and that'll uh, and you've got something pretty awesome to check out right there because it is quite a cool track, and it does look pretty accurate. You know, to play that track in Mario Kart, I mean, whoa, I mean, that's so cool. Uh, Where's that K? Oh yes. I drove really slow here, probably sacrificing my lead a bit, even though we have plenty of lead, but the detail in this track is just insane. I mean the glowing of the roof right here in the caves. I mean this game's 2003. <laughs> and it still holds up really well, graphically, to modern games, which is really Cease to amaze me, I mean, that's, I really does amaze me, that, that's, and I mean, especially if we go into this tunnel right here, and you can probably hear somebody's dog barking, because I've got my window open, because it is pretty hot here, in the UK at the minute, so, you have to bear with me on that one. But I mean, look at all the rocks and the fish swimming and everything like that. I mean, this is a PS2 game. I mean, what sort of PS2 games have graphic fidelity like that? I mean, OMG, it's just... Wow. I mean, that's insane. I mean, 2003 on the PS2. I mean, this is probably the best graphically looking Crash game ever. In fact, I'd go as far to say that this looks a lot better than the Xbox 360 parts of Mind Over Mutants and Titans. I mean, <laughs> the visual fidelity in this game is just solid, especially if you're playing it in an emulator at 1080p, like I am do doing. Well, I'm actually playing it in 720p, but in part 5 I actually upscale the video to 1080 and it does look a lot better, because, I mean, YouTube's compression does suck. I mean, you record a video and it looks really good. Wonderful. And then as soon as you put it on YouTube, it's ruined. Which totally sucks, I mean, YouTube's video quality, I mean, oh my gosh, it's awful, I mean. But anyway, enough ranting, so this is going to, of course, wrap up part 7 of Let's Play Crash Nitro Kart for the PS2. I hope you all enjoyed this part, as always, and I will indeed see you all in part 8, where we do... Phenomenal.